If some websites aren't loading and you keep seeing the message, this site can't be reached, there's a good chance those pages are being blocked. Today, I'll show you how to fix it. Let's get started. The first step is to confirm where the problem is coming from. It could be that the website is offline or the issue might be on your computer or network. To verify this, we'll use a tool called Down For Everyone or Just Me, which checks the website's status for us. What we're going to do now is open Google Chrome and type Down For Everyone or Just Me right into the search bar. Once you press enter, you'll see several results, but we're going to select the first one on the list. Now that we're on the site, you'll notice a small field where we can enter the website that's giving us trouble. I'll type in Facebook just to show you how this tool works, but in your case, make sure to enter the name of the page that isn't loading on your side. Once you've typed the website, go ahead and press enter. Right now, the tool is going to tell us two very important things that will help us understand what's going on. If the result shows that the website is down, it means the problem is coming from the website's own server, not from your device or internet connection. So the best thing to do is simply wait until the website's team resolves the issue. If the tool shows the site is up and running, then the issue isn't the website. It means the page works for everyone else, just not for you. So the problem is coming from your computer or your internet connection. And to fix this problem, we just need to follow the steps I'm about to show you. Okay, now that we know the issue is happening on our side, it's time to start fixing it. The first thing we're going to do is close the browser. This helps prevent any conflicts while we make the changes. Next, head over to the Start menu in Windows and type Command Prompt. When you see it appear in the list, right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. This part is important because we need full access to make the changes work properly. Now that the Command Prompt window is open, we're going to type our first command. Just type. Once you've done that, press enter to run it. Once you press enter, you should see a message saying that the DNS cache was cleared successfully. That means the command worked. Next, we're going to enter our second command. Just type netschwinsock reset and hit enter. If everything went well, Windows will ask you to restart your PC. But hold on, don't restart yet. There are still a couple of steps we need to take before we do that. Now we need to reopen Google Chrome. In the address bar, enter the following command directly. This takes us to Chrome's internal DNS settings page so we can clear the browser's DNS cache. Once you've typed the command, go ahead and press enter to open the page. Now you'll see a button that says clear host cache. Just click it and this will wipe out Chrome's DNS cache. This process is instant and doesn't show any message, so don't worry if nothing appears. All right, let's move on to the next step to fix the problem. The next step is to open the Windows settings menu. To do that, simply go to the search bar, type settings, and then select the first result that appears. Once the settings window is open, check the menu on the left side. There you'll find an option called network and internet. Go ahead and click on it. Once we're in the network and internet section, take a look at the middle part of the window. There you'll find an option called advanced network settings. Go ahead and click on it. Within this section, locate the option labeled Network Reset. This feature allows us to restore all network settings to their default state. Click on it to continue. Before pressing Reset Now, you should know that the system will automatically restart. This restart is necessary to apply the network reset changes correctly. So make sure to save any documents or files you have open to avoid losing your work. If the computer doesn't restart automatically, restart it yourself since the changes won't apply until then. After the restart, the problem should be gone. 